either. Well, Sullivan County community looks to fix an 80-year-old water system. The end result, better water, but a higher utility bill for residents. The town of Hymera wants to tear down its current water tower near Jackson Street and build a new one. But because of inflation, the project is expected to cost around $1.2 million. Now, officials say grants will cover most of the project, but water customers will have to pay the balance. The project still in the early stages, no start date just yet. Sig Torres has more. Jaimera's water tower was built in the 1940s and officials say everything still works and the water quality is fine. However, the town has just reached a point where it makes more financial sense to replace the infrastructure than to continuously do upgrades. Property on East Street will house the new proposed water tower, a project that's been looked into since 2007. You know, we need it. The current structure is a 75,000 gallon tank. But after extending mains outside of city limits and surrounding communities, like Wilfred also using Hymera supply, more capacity is needed. A new tank will hold 100 or 125,000 gallons. Facility manager Nick Colson said the state recommends towers be able to store a day supply of water. Our town grows, our water systems grow over the years. Um, we've recently started growing again, and we need to get we need to get more of a capacity of storage water than what we've got now. Grants will pay for most of the water tower, with the remaining balance going on residents' utility bills. Commander of the Hymera, American Legion John Woodruff, said it's a price he's willing to pay. I live a little ways outside of Hymera and I have uh, well water. I would rather have this water at my place than the well water that I've got at my place. Coulson said water pressure and quality hasn't been an issue. But the city is looking to avoid disasters that have been felt in other cities. It's a long-term struggle. You don't want to put your, your community through. It's easier to stay in compliance. Everybody's got safe drinking water. We just don't want to go backwards with our utilities. A timeline for construction is not known, but Colson says he'd like to see the project start within three years. Reporting on Jackson Street, I'm Zeke Torres. The state of Indiana has